Disney shares are down this morning despite, you know, coming in in line with Wall Street's expectations. What did you see in that report? What did you hear on the call? Did it change your price target for the company or your rating? No, we still have a buy rating, same price target, no, no change there. Uh, I would say the results were largely as expected. They beat on earnings. Uh, I would say the three major segments were, were as expected. Some of the guidance that they gave looking into next quarter was a bit weaker than expected. They expect to continue to lose subs uh, on the D to C side. Um, there's a, a little bit higher losses coming next quarter for, for DDC, and they talked about some inflation creeping in on the parks. But I, I, as you said, I think the, the, the main story is they talked about combining Disney Plus and Hulu in, in, one app, in one app, which I think is a precursor to them taking 100% control of Hulu down the road after they finish negotiations with Comcast. Interesting. So just for the audience, by the way, your price target's 122, Disney trading at about 101 right now. So one other part of this report that seemed really interesting, maybe even underreported, is that Bob Iger, he changed the forecast for the cost cutting. Um, before it was $5.5 billion, and now he's saying at least $5.5 billion. Is that a big deal for the company and especially for the stock? We think it is. Um, again, you know, a lot of these costs come out of the D2C business where, where they're running essentially three separate apps, right? You have Disney+, Plus, you have Hulu, you have ESPN+. Plus. Um, Hulu is 30% owned by Comcast. And when we think that issue gets rationalized uh, early next year and with, with Disney taking over 100% control of it, once that happens, there's a tremendous amount of cost that, that, that could be taken out, really starting with content. You just don't need that much content on one app. So they'll rationalize the content spend. Beyond that, there's technical savings, there's marketing savings, there's overlapping functional areas. We believe that there's over $2 billion in incremental cost savings to come once that rationalization occurs. Hey, by the way, I want to correct myself. Uh, Disney trading at 95 bucks, but your price target is correct, 122. So I want to pull on this thread of streaming just for a bit longer, if you don't mind. Um, it does sound like Bob Iger wants to buy the rest of Hulu. Isn't that a complete 180 from the, what he was saying before? Look, I, it, it may be. I think, you know, he, he has made comments about spending too much on generate entertainment content just and, and, ra and rather shifting money or, or sticking with the real Disney tent poles, uh, but at the end of the day, he doesn't have a choice. What's going to happen here is whatever Comcast wants to happen. They have a put where they can put their stake to Disney. We think they're going to do that. It happens effectively January 1, but then the company is going to refocus on all this cost cutting and, frankly, a, a tighter, uh, you know, probably smaller but, but more profitable D2C strategy going forward. All right, one last question. The Ron DeSantis issue, Bob Iger mentioned it, called it a retaliation. Is this political tension in Florida, is this a big deal or not a big deal? I don't think it's a big deal. I mean, I think I think he uh, Bob had a message he wanted to get out you know, on, on the call. Uh, if, if anything, I think he's trying to lower tensions in Florida there. Um, from a financial standpoint, it's, it's really a sideshow. Um, and we think that it'll be worked out. I mean, at, at the end of the day, you know, uh, moving from the the the, you know, the Reedy Creek uh, sort of framework that they had to uh, sort of a more traditional framework from a regulatory standpoint is really not a big cost uh, center for the company and frankly shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't change much in terms of the model.